All right, welcome back to my humble show. Hey, hi, how are ya? Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Feel free to disagree with me on anything. I am headed back to work right now. I want to share a few thoughts in the short amount of time that I have. I'm going to be talking a bit about this poll I saw going around on social media the other day. I saw it on the X account political polling. I believe that's what it was called, and lo and behold, it was a poll. And it was showing <clears throat> that Kamala Harris is the favorite, uh, hypothetically speaking, when it comes to the 2028 Democrat primary. That's right. So I believe she was favored at 41% in the polling results. And then coming in second was Gavin Newsom at 8%. So quite a significant drop there. There were some other names as well. I believe Josh Shapiro was third. On down a few spots was Tim Waltz. What a joke. But instead of poking fun at him, I'm just gonna talk about her. Do you believe that? Do you believe that she is the favorite? Or that she will be the favorite when the 2028 election cycle rolls around? I have a hard time believing it. First and foremost, because she lost. Again, she has run for president twice, tried two entirely different approaches, and failed miserably both times. The first time, of course, she dropped out of the race before the primaries the second time around uh, she was she was handed the reins with a few months to go courtesy of Sleepy Joe and uh, that just did not work out well for her did it because there's there's nothing to her so if she were to run again she would have to find yet another strategy one that she hasn't tried yet in which case it would be self-defeating because then she would seem even more inauthentic than she already does. Because instead of making one complete switch of uh, policies, if not values, you know, she likes to say her values have not changed despite her policies changing. If she were to change them yet again from activist to populist to whatever would be next, I think that there would be even less of a shot of people buying whatever she would be selling at that point. I'm just saying. So that's the that's the first thing for me. All that uh, sprinkled with the lack of authenticity. She just isn't a bright spot for them anymore. They they peppered her up as salty as she was deep down inside, or at least is now. And it just did not provide a winning strategy for them, ultimately. And because of all of that, and the fact that she she won't she won't be getting special treatment next time around. Like they couldn't really avoid her as a party this time. She was Joe Biden's vice president. If he was going to s step down, they couldn't exactly skip over her now, could they? So they had to go with her. They did and it was the best they could do, and it wasn't all that great. Could they have done better? Maybe, if not for the fact that, once again, they would be shooting themselves in the, in the foot if, uh, if they had uh, skipped over the black woman, the black Indian woman, uh, in favor of a white man like Gavin Newsom or Josh Shapiro. You know what I mean. So next time around, it'll be a little bit different. Slightly different song and dance. Oh, dang it. Yeah. This will go. <laughs> Traffic's a little bit crazy right now. Jeep's making funny noises. Not a good sign. Down the one vehicle. We'll see what happens. So yeah, sorry if 
I'm getting a little bit distracted here. But next time around, there will other there will be other people uh, dropping their name in the hat, ready to step into the ring and take a swing or two. They won't be running up against Donald Trump, so they may be able to get some more shots in. He had things going for him this time around. I mean, he didn't, but at the same time, everything the Democrats threw at him backfired on them. So though they took their shots, those shots swung back around. They ended up punching themselves in the face, shooting themselves in the foot. Capiche, kaput. Next time around, whether it's J.D. Vance or whoever else on the Republican side, Democrats may have more of a fighting chance, de depending on how things go in the meantime. We'll see. If, if Trump's presidency is successful, Americans are going to want to uh, extend his term with someone similar. If it doesn't go particularly well, or if the media is able to spin the narratives again, then anything is possible. I just think that uh, right here, right now, looking ahead into the future, though it is far too early to tell you definitively what may happen. Sorry, I got our hair in my mouth. Things are not looking up for Kamala Harris. So yeah, the fact that I haven't really heard anybody talking about her being the nominee for the Democrats in 2028, only to see this this poll showing her being the favorite, it's just not adding up for me. I don't know the scope and scale of this, this poll I'm talking about. I don't know the legitimacy of it. But I'm just sharing some thoughts. It's something to talk about, at least. So a couple other ideas I've heard thrown out there namely on CNN. Kamala Harris had a communications uh, staff member, a former communications staff member, talking about how Joe Biden should step aside during his final days in office and appoint her the president somehow uh, to secure his own legacy and also give her the historic title of being the first black woman to ever serve as the president of the United States. Of course, that would be even further proof that she is a DEI hire. I mean, that would be the ultimate example of a DEI hire. <laughs> if Joe Biden were to step aside with a couple months left, specifically to give her the chance to uh, proclaim her title as the first black woman president, like, that would be the epitome of DEI right there. I think that's stupid. I think this, this staffer of hers, former staffer of hers, was possibly trying to make a name for himself, throwing this crazy idea out there on CNN to get people to talk about it. Maybe, maybe it was her pulling the strings behind the scenes. That's kind of a long shot. I don't think she's pulling many strings at all at this point. Not really hearing much from her. <sighs> Regardless of why this person said this, and maybe, maybe he was just sincere in what he said. Maybe he genuinely believed that. Maybe he's just that big of a simp for either her or for him, for Joe Biden, that is. Maybe he thought that this would somehow make Joe Biden look good. I don't know. I just think it's a dumb idea overall. Also, I've heard someone suggest it may have been on CNN as well. It's either CNN or MSNBC, if I'm not mistaken. Suggests that uh, Joe Biden should find a way uh, to get Kamala Harris on the Supreme Court, which I think is an equally dumb idea. Because considering how things went for her in the deep inauthenticity, if that's uh, proper phraseology, <laughs> deep inauthenticity, I, I don't think that that would be a place for her. Her legal chops, not all the Democrats uh, chalk, chalk them up to. So yes, another dumb idea. 
I dismissed those dumb ideas rather quickly. As for her running next time around, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I say good luck to her. Good riddance to her. I don't think it's going to go well for her if she does. I think that she would have learned her lesson by now, but anything can happen between now and then, so there's that. But you can let me know what you think down in the comments below. I'd be happy to hear from you. <coughs> I'd be happy to hear from you. But yeah, keep in touch, keep in tune. New content is coming soon. Peace.